podcast 184 the beauty of texture in a Bajan's black and white photography ISBN 978-976-9726765 using a Canon Rebel T6 camera and Apple cell phone I explored the Caribbean and Mediterranean engaging in landscape architectural and portrait photography I comported myself like a tourist as a tourist on this occasion I engaged in sightseeing visiting famous landmarks historical and ecological sites and architectural wonders such as iconic buildings monuments parks and cultural heritage sites taking on this position also meant that I was spending time away from home Barbados located in the Caribbean for recreation relaxation and pleasure it also meant that my expectations were based on influence of photography and photographs using several critical lenses a literary analysis technique to analyze black and white photos as literary tools B incorporating a metaphoric lens enable me to perceive the invisible aspects of a giant basilica in Barcelona Spain a bus of Asdoro in Cartagena a Bajan fisherman casting a net in Barbados Bronze Beach in Barbados Buckingham Palace in United Kingdom Copernium in Israel Castel Nuevo in Naples, Chivi Tevecchia in Rome, Ephesus in Turkey, Farley Hill in Barbados, Gibraltar, Hadrian's Arch in Athens, New Jersey City University in New Jersey, Lenin Tower of Pisa in Italy, Little Bay in Barbados, Marble Statue of Jesus Christ and Saint Veronica Notre Dame de la Garde, Marseille, Mykonos, Greece, Nova Cartago in Naples, Pico Tenerife in Barbados, Ropalo in Italy, Rhodes Island in Greece, Santorini in Greece, Sh Statue Notre Dame de la Garde, Marseille, St. Anne's Church, Barbados, Sunset at Cusa de Se, Port Turque, the homeless Jesus statue Capernaum on the Sea of Galilee in Israel, the Acropolis of Athens in Athens, the astronomical clock of Messiah, the Church of the Beatitudes, the Sea of Galilee near Tagba and Capernaum in Israel, the Colosseum in Rome and the courtyard of Limassol Castle in Cyprus. As an author and cinematographer, I used primed and zoom lenses combined with critical lenses like literary analysis and metaphoric lens to appreciate the influence of photography. This photographic educational cultural journey showcases the way of life local traditions and beautiful features of people in the Mediterranean and the Caribbean culture. The Mediterranean and Caribbean story is rooted in architectural, ecological and nature awareness. The Caribbean culture reveals their diverse fusions influenced by West African, Indian, Chinese and European influences according to purebreaks.com, according to wikipedia.org. The Mediterranean culture reveals their diverse fusions influenced by Egyptian, Canaanite, Phoenician, Hebrew, Persian, Iberian, Roman, Byzantine, Bulgarian, Christian, and Islamic cultures resulting in beautiful fusions of Mediterranean cultures this achievement was achieved through photo analysis, the use of 
macro pedagogical Canon Rebel T6 camera, Apple cell phone and historic lenses. Research has shown that historically, although the Caribbean being smaller than the Mediterranean, experiences warmer temperatures year round while the Mediterranean can experience colder temperatures in winter, according to ExploringCaribbean.com. In this photojournalistic conversation, a critical lens, according to wikipedia.org, comprises a literary analysis technique which allowed me to examine these black and white photos as a work of literature interacting with the metaphoric lens. Although these images were captured through glass within a black and white genre, it should be noted that it is just a nuance of interpretations of a specific theory. The beauty of texture in a Bayesian's black and white photography, ISBN 978-976-9726765. At intervals during my sightseeing tour, I use my cinematographer's experience and lenses to document these 32 global historic landmarks, utilizing prime and zoom lenses for easy adjustment to highlight architectural, ecological, and natural awareness. For example, I was captivated by the beauty and texture of the renowned historical Caribbean architecture influenced by European colonizers incorporates past influences while incorporating modern building ethos, according to iglassinternational.com. And the evolution of Mediterranean architecture styles, also known as Spanish colonial, Moroccan mission revival, and neo-Mediterranean, is a style that has evolved over time, according to the spruce.com. The images of these global landmarks contrasts creates completion as seen in the convergence of black and white colors demonstrating how these two divergent colors communicate more effectively together than they do alone according to fatrabitcreative.com that said highlighting the significance of these 32 black and white photographs in this discourse helped create more powerful and emotive images. According to photographyicon.com, what I have also observed is that the black and white aids in composition. The black and white photos enhance the quality of global landmarks by focusing on compositional elements like texture, line, shape, pattern, form, placement, and negative space. The more that I navigated this project, I discovered that the low, the sensitivity of the camera's image sensor to light or ISO camera setting utilized in this black and white photo shoot allowed for effective grain reduction and sharp image. This view is corroborated by Adobe.com. These black and white photos are deemed monochromo photography. These landmarks are both tangible and intangible legacy assets located within the precincts of the global landscape. Texture certainly enhanced the aesthetic appeal of these global landmarks. The cultural and photo analysis theories focus on resolution, scale, tone, texture, form, rhythm, mood, aesthetics, composition, light expressions and background. This 32-page publication provides a unique opportunity to learn about the global photographic culture within the precincts of the Caribbean and the Mediterranean through the contrast of images and light use. This information is shared electronically and globally. The text emphasized the significant role of photographs in human culture through its images. The aforesaid 
can be characterized as comprehensive analysis of technical, cultural, political, and postmodern lived experience. This text and the other related publications significantly impact global citizens in 4,705 countries, 15,667 cities, and 5,884 international universities from January 13, 2017 to March 2024, according to independentacademia.edu William Giddens. In conclusion, as a Bayesian author, licensed cultural practitioner, photojournalist, and media arts major, I must confess that, contextually speaking, this journey was reminiscent of my academic tenure at New Jersey City University when I familiarized myself with black and white photography in some of my core courses. Because of this exposure and knowledge I gained, I was able to discern that A, the best images have clear black and white with shades of gray challenging to balance, and B, the images of global landmarks are complemented by a combination of black and white colors creating a powerful and emotive image. Now that I have gained expertise in black and white photography, I recognize that black and white is deemed a timeless art form with significant impact. I will confess that this genre is a timeless quality appealing to people of the Caribbean and Mediterranean cultures. I will confess that this genre is a timeless quality appealing to people of the Caribbean and Mediterranean cultures due to its versatility. It's my intention to raise awareness about global photographic culture. I believe that photography has a powerful influence on global culture. It is for all of the above reasons highlighted that the beauty of texture in a Bayesian's black and white photography. ISBN 978-976-972671 is podcast 184.